Hello everybody, what is going on? Fishing ATX back here again with another video guys. Today we're back out at Camp Mabry and again we're going to be doing some live bait fishing. This is the last day because I still have a few worms left and I want to try it. Remember, remember a couple times ago when I came out here and I used the live bait to catch some, um, I caught a big catfish in another bass and I missed a really big bass. I haven't been able to do it since then out here so I'm going to do it again today. I know it's the third day in a row and fishing for live bait for bass is kind of a sin for me but I just want to try it one more time. I promise after this It'll be back to just lures, I promise, but had to try it one more time. Before we get into today's video, guys, I have quite a few things to talk to you guys about. First off, I just want to thank you guys again for all the support I had on the 100 subscriber giveaway. I had so much support, gained so many subscribers, we're already at like 140, so that's just pretty awesome, guys. Thank you so much, and um, congrats to our giveaway winner. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for entering that giveaway. One more thing, too, before we get fishing, um, I have a friend named Luca, you guys, I remember him. Here he is right there. He came to visit me a little while ago here. He has started a YouTube channel too, and he and um, he saw how I was, well, I was doing. He was like, wow, that's pretty awesome. And he asked me if I'd give him a little bit of support on his channel because he's a small little channel like me. He does some pretty cool stuff, actually. He's really good at filming and he's um, good at editing and has some really <laughs> um, really good music behind his videos. Like You guys will really like his channel a lot. I'll link his channel down below, and I'll also put it at the end of this video. But it's called um, it's just called Luca Goff or um, LG Films or something. I'll, I'll put it up here, but it's it's pretty dope, so I check out his channel. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Let's get right to it. All right, guys, first things first, we got to catch some bluegills for bait. Good thing is, too, this time I have an ultralight combo, so it should be a little bit easier to catch them. I'm hoping the bluegills will still be here, because they were here pretty good quantities last time. Well, that's not good. Seems like some of my fears heading in today have come true. Barely could find any bluegill, and I couldn't get the ones I found to eat it. So, uh, we're gonna go search for some other ones. That's really not good, though. Oh, that's really not good. I don't think I've ever struggled so much trying to catch a flipping bluegill. Oh, it's annoying. It's really annoying. All right, I'm renewing my search for bluegill. Oh man, I need just one bluegill, one bluegill. I can do all my plans I have, but and I just need one. It's gonna hit, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit. Please. Please take it, please take it, please take it. Please take it, please take it, please take it, please take it. Have one. Yes. Yes! Oh my god, yes. We got bait, dude. We've got bait. And it's perfect size. Oh my god, that was a struggle for one bluegill. That was a massive struggle. Jesus, that was a struggle. It took me nearly an hour, but I got one. Oh, thank the Lord we got one. I had another one. There's number two. There's number three. There's number four. All right, there's our final one right there. All right, guys, I think I've enough now. I have six bluegill. That should be plenty. It took a while, but we finally got our bait. Let's go get it set up. All right, guys, after an extended period of trying to catch our bait, we are finally ready to go. Feels good, man. We're going to do two bluegill, sit and watch them, throw some blues around while we're doing it. But, oh, I'm so happy we finally got our bait because I think we can catch some nice fish today. Always going for the same thing, bass and catfish, but really hoping I got to get a big bass or a big catfish. Got some nice bluegill in here, as you see. So hopefully, we'll catch a big one. All right, got our first victim. Let's go through the back. Except for one, they're all pretty big bluegills, so they might take a little while to get eaten, but when they do get eaten, it's gonna be a pretty good fish. I'd eat some. Let's get them out there. All right, second bluegill is out there. That was a terrible cast, but they're all set up now. Now we wait for our first bite. Uh oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a good fish too. That's a big fish. I think it's a catfish. Let's go down to him. I want to get over here. 
Oh, whatever it was, spit it. Good fish. That was a good fish. First bite. I lost when I walked over there. I didn't keep the pressure on him. I gotta let him eat it longer, too. I think that was a catfish just for how it felt. That that was, I mean, that was no doubt a cat, fat catfish because a bass doesn't fight like that, you know, because it, it had that kind of like that pull down heavy bite or pull. It's probably a pretty good catfish though, so it's kind of disappointing, but. We know what we need to do now. I just need to let them eat it longer. I don't even think something has it. I think that was just a strong pull by a bluegill. Yep. Something did have it. It doesn't have it anymore. There's something on it again. There's definitely something on it again. There's something on it. I let it eat it. There's something on it. Yeah, there's something on it. I'm just gonna let it eat it. There's something on it. It's pretty big, whatever it is. It's run with. I'm just gonna let it eat it for a little while. All right. I'm running out of line here, so. Dropped it. I think whatever it is still has it. I think whatever it is still has Oh, that's what it was. Something is on it. Something is on it, but it's perhaps my other line. There's something really nice on it. It's trapped in my other line. Crap. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this, guys? I've got a fish on. I think it's a catfish. Yeah, I've got something on. Yeah, it's a catfish. I saw it. This is a good fish. This is gonna be a disaster trying to get this in though. Holy crap. Dude, I, this, is a cat, this is a really big catfish. Might also just be all the stuff that's added on to it. But. And this was a really big bluegill at eight, so. Oh my God, I saw it, it's big. It's really big, guys really big dude it's really big this is gonna be a lot of fun trying to get this undone oh there he is yeah he's a little I thought he's a little bigger than he is but he's still a nice fish I should call this catfish in ATX because recently all I've caught are these catfish just a dead bluegill I think that's the bluegill he ate right there because I say there's two bluegills Got good stamina, he's not giving up. He's pretty good though. I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty good. I'm gonna get my fish grips real fast. Dang it, he got a god, this little stupid catfish. I had him up on the shore and he got off and I went to go get his fish grips. Got to land him again. This is gonna be so fun trying to get these lines untangled. I'm done with this. This is going to be a lot of fun trying to get the lines untangled. That's what I can't wait for. Why wow, the rod's going off because he just hit it. All right, let's get him. I got to get him now. There we go. Got him. Got him. 
Yes. All right, I don't want to drop them on the ground now. So, I want my other rod to go shut up though. All right, he's not as big as I thought he was, but he's still a good fish though. Still a good one. There we go, guys. Ugh. Look at that. That's a good, that's a pretty good guy. He's not nearly as long as the ones I've been catching, but still not a bad fish at all. I'll get a white on him, just cause it's my first fish of the day. Seriously, I think I should change my name to Catfish in ATX. This is all I catch now. Hold on. Hold on about 10, 14. He's not nearly as long as the other guys, but man, he's got some belly on him. He's got some serious belly on him. Pretty guy, real pretty fish. Let's get him back. Might be easier if I just release him over there, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna release him over here because this will be a little easier to get him back in the water. Surprised this fish is actually 10 pounds though. All right, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. There we go, we figured it out. Adios. I'm surprised the fish is even 10 pounds, to be quite honest with you. Guess what I get to do now? I get to untangle my lines. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Well, guys, bluegill bite has slowed down. Probably been a good 30, 35 minutes since I caught that catfish. Nothing since. But I'm sure I'm sure they'll start giving some, I'm sure some fish will start biting here in a little while. I bet you they just got a little scared off just because of the catfish I caught and all the alarms going off. That'll probably freak, that probably freaked them out, honestly, but I bet you y'all start getting some more here in a little while. Right now, it's just a little slow. Well, guys, I've still not even had a nibble since I first catfished, and it's got to be, it's probably been a good, probably hour and a half, two hours now since I caught that last fish. It's not even as much of a nibble on anything, lures or live bait. So, I don't really know what's going on. We're gonna try for another about 20, 30 minutes. Can't get anything, and then we're gonna be done. Uh oh. Something might have eaten it. I think something's got it. Something's got it. Something's got it, finally. Finally, something's got it. Something's got it. He doesn't have it that well. Yeah, it, whatever it was, just spit it. Something was, mess something was swimming with it, though. Wherever it was, spit it, though. Wherever that was, spit it. Must have felt me and didn't have it down. Dang it. I think whatever has whatever it is still has it. Yeah. Something's got it again. We need another fish in this video, man. I need this fish. Uh, need some drag. Spin's on. <sighs> Spit it. Uh, he didn't have it down. No, I think he stole. I think it's, yeah, it's still on. Oh, nope, it's not. Whatever it was, spit it and ram me straight into that. Dumb fish, man. Well, uh, we had something hidden at least. I mean, big, just picked it up. It's when really big's got it. It dropped it again. Or did it? Oh, it didn't. It didn't drop it wherever it was. Whatever it is did not drop. Damn it, he dropped it that time. He burnt me off. No. What is going on, man? What is going on? Someone picked it up and was running really hard with it. I mean, you saw that. He's got it again. What is going on? Why is my drag all screwed up too? And the bluegill can't be the one doing this. I don't know what is happening. It's the strangest thing, man. I don't know if that's a catfish or what. This might just be inexperienced. Like I don't, I might, I might not be doing this right. Person probably. It's probably what's happening, but. and picked it up again. That's not the bluegill. It's too heavy. I'm just gonna let it eat it though. 
just gonna let it eat it. As long as it runs out that way, I'm fine. God, this is some mess, dude. Got it, I think. Probably small catfish. Oh, it, oh, it spit it. Oh, it spit it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I don't really understand what's, I don't really understand what's happening right now. I don't get why I can't get these fish to just eat it fully. I can't get them to eat it fully. I'm trying real hard. I mean, I just don't know how I'm gonna get them to eat it fully. It's a good sign to see they're biting again though. I mean, this is my last blue go right here and this really big one, so I'm gonna have to go catch some more. But I just don't understand why they're, why they're eating it and then letting it go and eating it, letting it go. I mean, I had that fish that time, just the hook came out, I mean. But I gotta tell you, this is really, really annoying me how much it's just inconsistent, the, the inconsistency of just eating it and letting it go, eating it, letting it go. <sighs> it's annoying, man. It's real triggering. I mean, I don't, that wasn't that big of a fish, I don't think, the last one that I lost. I think it was a, just a smaller catfish. At least that's what it felt like it was. Oh my god. I don't even know if that's a fish, man. <laughs> To be honest with you, I have no idea if that's a fish. That's just a bluegill. I think that's just a bluegill. Something's got it, guys. Something blew up on it over there. Something's got it. Have it. Done. Okay guys, so I think we're gonna stop it right about there because it gets a lot uglier after that. As you can see, I was pretty mad yesterday. I was just really frustrated. It was it was obviously a tough day. I mean, at least I did catch that one catfish, which was very, very nice, but I was so frustrated. I don't know if you could tell, but man, I was so mad. And I was literally so mad because that, um, but I, what ended up happening was, I mean, there was so much film, so I skipped a lot of it, but I caught that catfish and then I went um, about two, about almost, like probably two hours out of fish. Finally got that one fish to bite, hooked it. It came off. It was either just a, like a probably like a two or something pound bass or a smaller catfish. I never really got a good glimpse of it, but from just looking at the film, I think that's probably what it was. And just remembering what it felt like. And then that last fish, <laughs> that last fish hurt. I didn't, my camera was really low, so I didn't turn it on, but I saw some busting over there, and I think it was a, a decent bass. I saw some busting, I threw the bluegill right in over there. You can see it on camera too, because I didn't turn it on, but whatever it was, blew up on my bait, which that means it probably was a bass. And then it started rotting, as you saw, and I set the hook, but of course my drag was too loose. That might have been one of the reasons I probably didn't get a very good hook set into it. And, um, Came off and I was <laughs> I was so mad, man. I I was so mad. I was I was so mad. I, did, I just turned the camera off. Didn't want to do an outro. Just just got out of there and I was I was unbelievably mad. I think it might have been the hooks, just because the only fish I caught was on the circle hook, the little catfish circle hook. The other hooks I was using were just those bait holder hooks, and they're old and rusted. And I just think it might have been the hooks. So good thing is we're gonna go buy some new hooks and. I know I said at the beginning of the video, I promised I wasn't going to do any more live bait fishing, but I, just, I can't end it on that. I just, I can't end on just a defeat like that. So I'm going to try it one more time, one more chance to try and get a win. Unfortunately, guys, I said we were going to sell my Alabama. We were not able to go because some stuff came up from my dad, but we've got some big stuff coming up. So in a couple days on Saturday, we're going back to Mabry to do one more shot and try to catch some bass on live bluegill or bass and catfish, really, anything that I'll buy because... Just pretty much just catching fish on live bluegill, and then we're heading out to my friend Samuel. You guys probably remember Samuel. I've I've been um, I've had videos of him before. We're heading out to his ranch on Sunday to fish their pond, and their pond is stacked. Tons of six, seven pounders and caught out there. 
He's not been out there in a while, but every time he goes out there, he catches at least 20, 30 fish, and normally about five that are over five pounds. It's it's insane. He thinks it's better than Hickory Hill, so we're going to see. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, if you liked me raging out and getting all mad about all that, um, subscribe to my channel if you're new, like the video, and yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. we got some exciting things coming up. I'll see you in the next video.